Hi, my name is Kent Lee and I teach computer science at Luther College. In this group of videos, I'm going to introduce you to programming in Python through a series of examples that's going to result in a working prototype for the Frogger arcade game application. To begin programming in Python, we're going to have to have a few prerequisites installed and I have a web page that's set up to help us with this. If you bring up a web browser on your system and you go to github dot com slash Kent D. Lee slash Frogger with a capital F and press enter it'll take you to that web page. Under that web page we have some prerequisites that need to be installed on your computer to begin Python programming and following and and is also needed for this series of, uh, of videos. The first prerequisite we need is git. Um, this may already be installed on your system if you have a system administrator that prepared your computer for this series of videos, so you may be able to skip this installation. Um, but if not, uh, there are two links here, um, Git for Windows and Git for Mac. We'll want to click on the appropriate one for our computer, and it may or may not start downloading automatically. Um, it says it's starting on my computer, but if it does not start automatically here, you can click the Click Here to Download Manually link and it will start to download after just a few seconds here. So we'll wait for this to download and it says save file. We'll go ahead and click save. The download is finished. Um, depending on the browser that you're using, you may or may not see the downloads up here. Um, you can certainly go down to Finder uh, and click downloads. On a Windows computer, you would just go to uh, the down to the uh, menu and look for the little icon that looks like a file folder and click on that. It's kind of just like Finder, and then click the downloads uh, link that you would see over on the left hand side as well. So there you'll find the Git download. It probably will end with an exe if it's a uh, Windows computer, dmg if it uh, and if it's a uh, a Mac computer. So you double click on that, you'll need the administrator password to go ahead and install it. Um, just take, go through the steps and select all the defaults and, uh, and it'll be installed on your computer. Once you've finished getting the Git program, then we will want to go to the next prerequisite which is Python 3. To install Python 3 we just click the Python 3 link and we download Python 3. Point something. So it says 3.5.1 here. It might be 3. Point something else when you go to download it. It doesn't matter as long as it says Python 3. Point something. So we'd click that link. Um, it's going to come up and ask us if we want to save it. We'll go ahead and save it. Um, and then we can go to the same download folder again and look for it there and uh, double click on it and again we would need the administrator password uh, to go ahead and be able to install this on our computer whether it's a Windows machine or a Mac machine. Um, so that'll be installed on the computer um, and uh, once we've gone through those steps and again you just take all the defaults and and it will get it installed. The last prerequisite is to install Wing IDE 101 and this is a free program and it's a program that helps us. It's uh, The IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. So it helps us write Python programs, um, makes it much easier for us to do that. So you click the link. It should recognize the type of system that you're running on and you go ahead and click the download, the installer for, uh, for that system. And it'll ask you, do you want to save? And you just click save and it should go ahead and download that for you to your computer. Once downloaded, again, we'll go down to the, fi to the Finder window or the Windows Explorer on, the, on a Windows computer. Click the download link. You're going to see the Wing package there. Double click on it. Go through any defaults that you would need to for installing it on a Mac. Um, it, again, it's, this is a uh, called a disk image, DMG as disk image. So it's going to pop up and it's going to show you something like this and you just want to drag it over to the applications and drop it on there and it will go ahead and install it for you. Um, again, if you have a system administrator 
they may have taken care of this step for you, these first three steps for you, but, uh, but if you're running this on your own computer, then you'll want to go through these steps and, and uh, make sure that you've got everything installed. Okay, so I've got the three pieces installed, and that's as much as probably any system administrator is going to uh, have done for you. This next step is configuring one, Wing 101, and we'll want to make sure that we do that. Um, and I doubt that this would be done by a system administrator for you. So on a Windows system, we'd want to go to the Start menu and find Wing 101 and start it. On a Mac, again, we can go to the Finder, and we can click on Applications and find Wing 101 in our Applications folder and go ahead and start that up. When you start it, you're going to see a, a license agreement that is going to be requested. Just click Accept there. It's free for use, for educational use, so you don't have to pay anything for this. And then after you've clicked Accept, it should show you a window that looks like this. We do not want to run Python 2.7 or any version of Python. We want to run Python 3. So we're going to fix that right now by going up to the Edit on wing and this is whether you're running on a Mac or on Windows and we're going to do configure Python. Under co configure Python where we see Python executable we want to click on custom and we want to find uh, Python 3 is what we want to run. Now on a Mac I can just type Python 3 right here. On a Windows system I may want to click the browse button, go to the C drive, and find Python under the C drive. Uh, there should be a Python directory, and then you're going to want to find a python.exe that's, that's in that uh, directory. So either way, we want custom, and we want our Python uh, to be right there. So um, then we're going to go to uh, click OK, OK, and it's going to ask, do we want to restart? And we're going to say restart. And at that point, then, uh, we should see Python 3 down here. If you don't see Python 3 at this point, then it, it's because you uh, did something wrong. You're gonna, gonna wanna go back and redo those few steps again um, to edit and configure Python and find the proper Python 3 executable so that you see three point something down here in this Python shell window once you're done. Uh, that's it for these steps for uh, getting everything prepared for the environment. Um, next up is the first lesson, and uh, you can watch that video and um, start stepping through the steps there to prepare your environment to be uh, to run your first Python program.